Stacy's right. Oh, you are not going to like this. What? Well, a photo of you and Tora is circulating on Postgram and in the tabloids. Why's that circulating? People are saying you're Tora's girlfriend. Tora's girlfriend? What the heck? The article says, Piper Wilson, dog mom of Bean, the star of hit show Stacy Hollywood's Pet Palace, oh, was seen canoodling Indonesia's most eligible bachelor, Tora Asana, at the launch party of his new five-star resort. I was not canoodling him. I was giving him a hug. Ugh, I hate it when people make up stories about me. It's just like when Jennifer Blake said I stole her cat. Let's calm you down. I know. We have to get started on the swimming pool, so why don't we start by repairing the paths? Any calmer? Don't worry, Nina. I'm not angry with you. I'm angry with the media. And I'm worried what people will think. What Sean will think. What if he reads those magazine articles and thinks I cheated on him with Tora? Oh, Piper, I'm sure he would never... Uh, I should text him. Tell him the photo's not what it seems. <coughs> oh, uh, right. Okay, let's keep moving. We can work on the decking while we wait for his reply. Are you okay, Piper? Of course I'm not okay. People are saying I cheated on my boyfriend. I'm not going to be okay until Sean knows the truth. Until then, I just need to be distracted. In that case, why don't we clean the pool? <gasps> my phone! That must be Sean. I don't have a text. Oh, it must have been my phone. Is it from Ryu? No. Uh, who? Uh, oh, whoops. I almost forgot I'm not meant to be asking Nina questions. I don't want her to think I'm being nosy again. Who uh, wants to help me repair the pool's wall? Me! Arf. And Bean! Right. I'm off. You're going? Uh, yeah, I've got some errands to run. Hmm. More suspicious behavior. Is that okay with you? Uh, absolutely. I support you with all your errands and endeavors. Thanks, Piper. Um, bye then. Bye. I can't believe Nina's left me when I'm in the middle of a personal crisis. I need her here so I can vent. <sighs> well, Bean, if Nina's gone, you'll have to be my emotional support animal. <coughs> you can show your support by helping me decorate the pool floor.
Oh no! Sean's read my text and isn't replying. I would never cheat on Sean. Surely he must know that. Oh, Bean, this is horrible. Thank you for comforting me. Huh, it's Tora. I wonder what he makes of the rumors. <laughs> Whoa, Tora! You look wrecked! I am battling a rather severe hangover. But honestly, I feel fantastic! And I can't stop thinking about last night! Does he mean the hug? It was the best night of my entire life. Things I have barely dared to dream of are finally coming true. Even the journalists could see it. And it's all down to you. Wait a second. Tora can't mean. Is Tora into me? Oh no. This is the last thing I need. Piper. Er, uh, help me decorate the pools. Piper, that photo in the papers. Uh, Tora, uh, look, I'm flattered. <laughs> You're a lovely guy, uh, but my heart belongs to someone else. Huh? You're attracted to me. I it's okay. I know that our hug meant a lot to you, uh, but... Piper, our hug was platonic. I don't have feelings for you. Oh, phew. I'm not attracted to you in the slightest. Not a little bit. Not even an atom. Okay, I get it. To me, you're like an elderly aunt or a friendly Pekingese. I'm younger than you. And if I was a dog, I'd be a corgi, not a Pekingese. Ugh. I'm glad Tor isn't into me like that. But did he have to make it so abundantly clear? I'm glad we've got this all ironed out. Yeah, me too. So, how do you think the party went last night? It was a roaring success. Everyone's posting about it and people from all over the world are already pre-booking rooms. The papers are saying the resort is going to be the new IT location for holidays in Bali. Ah, oh, I'm so happy for you, Tora. I couldn't have done it without you. Shall we hug it out? Uh, maybe not. <laughs> If you don't mind, I think I need to go and lie down in a dark room. I tried to keep up with the rolling bones at the bar last night. Whew. Drank way too much. You know what helps? Raw egg with hot sauce and sauerkraut juice. Raw egg, hot sauce, sauerkraut? Oh. Uh, if you'll excuse me. Guess he's feeling a bit queasy. Now let's decorate the pet pool floor. Floorsome! What shall we do next, Bean? <coughs> Lounge chairs? That's a great idea! <gasps> a text notification! And this time it definitely was my phone. Please, please let it be Sean. Oh, it's from Stacy. She said she knows I must be fretting about the photo of me and Tora. 
so she's sending me a picture to cheer me up. But I don't think anything's going to cheer me up right now. Actually, I do feel a bit better. That's adorable. <coughs> There's nothing like a picture of a beloved pet to warm your heart. Eh, Bean? Like that lovely photo of the Kintamani dog. Let's take another look at it, right after we put out some umbrellas. Now, let's have another look at that gorgeous photo of the Kintamani dog. Maybe we could frame it and put it up as a decoration. He has such beautiful eyes. Bulan. Huh. That rings a bell. I'm sure I've heard that name before. Oh my gosh, Bean. You're right. Dayu told us about Bulan. She cared for him when he was just a little lonely pup. This photo must belong to her. Let's head over to the animal shelter and return it. Here it is. Oh, it looks closed. Uh, maybe I can write Dayu a note and slip it through the... <gasps> Bean! Can you see that illustration on the wall? <coughs> it's drawn in the same style as those sketches we found. And... Whoa! There's the other half of the Kintamani dog statue we found at the resort! What's Dayu doing with that? This is very, very strange. Let's head back to the resort put out some pet loungers, and try to figure out what this all means. I've suspected for a while that Dayu has a personal connection to the old resort. And this proves it. Why else would she have the other half of the Kintamani dog statue? The only question is, what is the nature of that personal connection? And what happened to make her so desperate to keep the resort closed? Hmm. That's more than one question. Uh, when I see her, I'm going to ask for an explanation. Now, let's fill these pools. <coughs> I can't wait to take a dip after work tonight. So, what's next? I know. Let's put out some plants around the pool. Oh, a text. Well, I'm not going to look at it. Because it won't be from Sean. If I check it, I'll just be disappointed. Fine. But it'll be your fault if I'm heartbroken. <gasps> it is from Sean! Bean, I can't look at the text. What if Sean believes the rumors? What if he breaks up with me? Okay, you're right. I should just rip off the band-aid. Here goes. Sean says he saw the stories, but he didn't believe them for a second. He says he trusts me. Oh, Bean, it's okay. Sean and I are okay. He said he's going to send me a photo. Wow, it's taking forever to load. Let's add a waterfall while we wait. Oh. 
Ah, oh, that looks awesome. Sean sent me a picture. Apparently, it's his phone background. Aw, oh, <laughs> I love it. It was taken at our last picnic, remember? Sean made his delicious potato salad, <laughs> which you gobbled up while we were busy kissing, you mischievous pup. It was such a special day. Ugh, I feel so stupid. Why do I get so insecure about my relationship with Sean when all he does is show me how much he cares? The truth is, Bean, every day I feel scared that Sean will come to his senses and realize I'm not good enough for him, and he'll leave me. I got left a lot as a kid. First my dad, then my mom. Then I was shipped from foster home to foster home. No one wanted me around for long. Aww. But Sean says he does want me around. He shows up for me time and again. I have to learn to trust him. Whenever I feel insecure about our relationship, I'll look at this picture and try to remember how solid we are. I am very, very lucky. <laughs> Enough of this mushy stuff. <laughs> Let's put out some floaties. <laughs> No pool is complete without floaties. I think we're finished here, Bean. We did a great job, considering we were on our own for most of it, and I was going just a little bit crazy. <laughs> Nina's been gone for ages. I wonder what she's up to. Don't be scared, Bubbles. <laughs> I'm sure there's nothing too dangerous or deadly in the jungle. <laughs> <gasps> what was that? Uh, 